good lecture on matrices and it's a bit more matrix multiplication. Right, we, we did a little bit on this last time, but we have diagonal matrices. Now this is where you have a matrix, which is an n by n, so it's a square, and all the diagonals have values in, and everything else is just a zero. So, in other words, we did this last time, I think, with, uh, but with an identity matrix where all the diagonals are equal to one, but only the diagonals where uh, I, I equals j. Uh, so in this case, we have d1, d2, all the way up to dn, because it's an n by n, and we said that dij equals di if i equals j. So in this case, it's 2, because it's 2, 2 and zero if i does not equal j. That's the definition of a diagonal matrix. Right, now if we were to multiply a matrix by a diagonal matrix, all we do is we multiply the columns by the value that is in the column. So in the first column, we have the value two. In the second column, we have the value four. In the third column, we have the value six. So it times all the values in the first column of A times the value in the first column of B. So we have 2 times 2 is 4, 16, 8, 16, 24, 8, 36, 24, 12. it doesn't matter which way around you multiply it. So AB is the same as BA, and it's not commutative, which uh, a lot of the cases it is. Right, transposition. This is just the last thing we did very, not, not much this lecture. Now, say we have A here. Now we have the values one, two, oh, 9, 0, 1, 2. Now if you were to transpose it, which is uh, signified as a T, that means to basically turn it and reflect it, if that makes sense. So all the columns on A become rows on A transpose. So, and I've done it like this because the shape will change. So we have one, two, three going along the top as a row, but now it's the column. So it's the first row, and now it's the first column. That's one, two, three. And the same for all the rest. And it's it, and it should work out that the columns have now become the rows. So we have 1, 4, 7, 0, 1, 4, 7, 0. And there's a few things to note about this. The first one is that if you transpose something twice, you're left with the original. So if we transpose that, it will bring us back to this. Also, we must know that A plus B transposed is the same as A transposed plus B transposed. And x, which is some multiple, times a transpose is the same as x times a transpose. So we wouldn't like to transpose x, we like an inverse maybe if you're thinking about it, but you don't do that. And also it, the last one is a b transpose is the same as b transpose times a transpose. And this order makes a difference because, as we said, a b is not necessarily the same as b a.